Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 227 pounds. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, Chico. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. Underway, and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the two. Nice strike. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. And he landed the right hand there. Big head kick land. Unable to connect with the right hand there. A oh, little single collar tie there. Oh, nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. Lee gets caught by that straight hand. Single collar tie now. 
Big right hook coming is blocked. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Again, they clinch. Lee's eyebrow got opened up on that shot. Starting to bleed a little bit now. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Superman punch. That was a thudding lick. Oh, good kicks. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Big head kick lands. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back. Truly makes up the target. Tight to behold. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And there comes the separation now. Spinning back fist. Nice leg kick land. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Nice body. And they separate. Lands with the right hand. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when you're losing this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not too distant future. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, he's the taller fighter. He's able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Beautiful head kick. Good stick. Not only will this affect his ability to stand, but he can't really set down on his punches and he won't generate the power that he normally generates because he can't really get heavy on his leg. Oh, that head kick landed. Lee's knee attempt here looked like a good one, but it gets blocked. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Man, that cut is just getting worse by the minute. Rated R tonight. And they separate. Single column tie now. Lands a big knee to the body. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? Oh, the master of the transition. Nice grip. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. And they separate. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Lee. Nice punch, Lee. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success.
Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to his bullets. He throws his jab, he may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's gotta be confident that it's going to land, and he's gotta really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Nice punch man over the top. Nice head kick. Collar tie. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Back and forth we go. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Right hand punch with the clinch. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. What a body kick. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll, start, he'll change his stance. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny doesn't. Uh, it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Connects with a right. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, knee to the head, that never feels good. Oh, hook shot blocked there by Lee. Big head kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, single collar tie here. He's digging his entire weight into those punches to the body. All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's exhausting. This is a position where you are constantly draining at the gas tank of your opponent. What a punch. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking you these, man. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity, and the hands look phenomenal tonight. And they separate. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Lee. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Gotta be careful here, though, not to gas out. What a head kick. 20 seconds to go. Leg kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Nice kick. And that's the end of round number two. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? 
if your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faces it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Big kick land. Flush right hand is true. He's back in the clinch. Let's see what he does now. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Look at him chop him. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Outstanding output on both sides. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork now. It's okay. Use your footwork. Big kick land. Oh, collar tie. Oh, dude just got worked by that uppercut. His chin went all the way up to the ceiling. What a tricky head kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Hard shots landing on both sides here. That was a nice strike. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Liz. There's the kick. It's blocked. Oh, yeah, right hand. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight, Phil. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Nice leg kick. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Nice. Hands to the body there. A little single collar tie there. He is throwing his entire hip into these body shots. That punch is good. Lanza glancing right hand upstairs. Able to check that kick as well. Hands high, hands high. Straight right hand now just misses. Good punch land. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Oh man, head kick lands. And they separate. Lee gets hit with a kick. Ooh, nice, nice right hand. Back and forth we go here. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Head off the center line, slips the punch. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. 
Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. Waning seconds here of round number three. Able to land with the left hand there. And they separate. Mm -hmm. well, 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 well. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. All right, single collar tie now. Oh! Huge right hand! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's, yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Right under the elbow. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, big punch land. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Looked like it did start a little bit. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Three minutes to go in the round. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. That one appeared to stun. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Gets up again here, but hurting. Oh, and he caught the kick. Another punch to the head. Really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Big kick lands. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Under two minutes now to go. Beautiful punch. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big oh. leg kicks. Oh. Oh. Well, I'm not sure how much more damage he can take to the body. You may want to drop that elbow defensively. Of course, that opens you up to damage upstairs. Pick your poison for him here as he continues to absorb damage. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, 
All right, he lands a hook there, DC. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. When you throw a hook, it can go around the guard of your opponent. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing it. He doesn't have any tell when he's going to throw a knee. Single collar tie now. Out of range with that kick attempt. Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great timing with his left hand. Great punch landed with so much power. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. So there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. It is the fifth and final round. Blocks the shot. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Well, it looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. It's nice to move the punch. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Checks the leg kick. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh! Huge right hand! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. And now they are throwing. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at you. He wiped him out! Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Daniel Leonis called a stop to this contest at one minute, six seconds of round number five. Playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.